Chapter 4 And the word of Samuel came to all Israel. Now Israel went out against the Philistines to Bethel, and pitched beside Ebenezer, and the Philistines pitched in Aphek. And the Philistines put themselves in Ari against Israel. And when they oined Bethel, Israel was smitten before the Philistines, and they slew of the army in the field, about four thousand men. And when the people were come into the camp, the elders of Israel said, Wherefore hath the Lord smitten verses today before the Philistines? Let verses fetch the ark of the covenant of the Lord out of Shiloh into verses, that when it cometh among verses, it may saw verses out of the hand of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh, that they might bring from thence the ark of the covenant of the Lord of hosts which dwelleth between the cherubims, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas were there, with the ark of the covenant of God. And when the ark of the covenant of the Lord came into the camp, all Israel shouted with a great shout, so that the earth rang again. And when the Philistines heard the noise of the shout, they said, What meaneth the noise of this great shout in the camp of the Hebrews? And they understood that the ark of the Lord was come into the camp. And the Philistines were afraid, for they said, God is come into the camp. And they said, Wove into verses, for there hath not been a such a thing heretofore. Wove into verses, who shall deliver verses out of the hand of these mighty gods? These are the gods that smote the Egyptians with all the plagues in the wilderness. Be strong, and quit your cellus like men, O ye Philistines, that ye be not Sarah and Spento the Hebrews. As they how bene to you, quit your cellus like men, and fight. And the Philistines fought, and Israel was smitten. And they fled Uri man into his tent. And there was a very great slaughter, for there fell of Israel thirty thousand footmen. And the ark of God was taken, and the two sons of Eli, Hophni, and Phinehas were slain. And there ran a man of Benayamin out of the army, and came to Shiloh the same day with his clothes rent, and with earth upon his head. And when he came, lo, he sat upon a seat by the wayside, watching, for his heart trembled for the ark of God. And when the man came into the city, and told it, all the city cried out. And when Eli heard the noise of the crying, he said, What meaneth the noise of this tumult? And the man came in hastily, and told Eli. Now Eli was ninety and eight years old, and his eyes were dim, that he could not see. And the man said Vento Eli, I am he that came out of the army, and I fled today out of the army. And he said, What is there done, my son? And the messenger answered, and said, Israel is fled before the Philistines. And there hath been also a great slaughter among the people, and thy two sons also, Hophni and Phinehas, are dead, and the ark of God is taken. And it came to pass a when he made mention of the ark of God, that he fell from off the seat backward by the side of the gate, and his neck brake, and he died, for he was an old man, and holy, and he had judged Israel forty years. And his daughter-in-law Phinehas' wife was with chilled near to be delivered. And when she heard the tidings that the ark of God was taken, and that her father-in-law and her husband were dead, she bowed herself and trawled, for her pains came upon her. And about the time of her death, the women that stood by her said unto her, Fear not, for thou hast borne a son. But she answered not, neither did she regard it. And she named the chilled Ichabod, saying, the glory is departed from Israel, because the ark of God was taken, and because of her father-in-law and her husband. And she said, The glory is departed from Israel, for the ark of God is taken. Chapter 5 And the Philistines took the ark of God, and brought it from Ebenezer Vento Asht. When the Philistines took the ark of God, they brought it into the house of Dagon, and set it by Dagon. And when they of Ashtar rose yearly on the morrow, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the earth, before the ark of the Lord. And they took Dagon, and set him in his place again. 
And when they rose early on the morrow morning, behold, Dagon was fallen upon his face to the ground, before the ark of the Lord, and the head of Dagon, and both the palmes of his hands were cut off on the threshold. Only the stump of Dagon was left to him. Therefore neither the priests of Dagon, nor any that come into Dagon's house, tread on the threshold of Dagon in Ashtvento this day. But the hand of the Lord was hoif on them of Asht, and he destroyed them, and smote them with emrods, you and Asht, and the coasts thereof. And when the men of Asht saw that it was so, they said, The ark of the God of Israel shall not abide with verses, for his hand is sore upon verses, and von Dagon our God. They sent therefore, and gathered all the lords of the Philistines until them, and said, What shall we do with the ark of the God of Israel? And they answered, let the ark of the God of Israel be carried about Ventogath. And they carried the ark of the God of Israel about thither. And it was so, that after they had carried it about, the hand of the Lord was against the city with a very great destruction. And he smote the men of the city both small and great. And they had emrods in their secret parts. Therefore they sent the ark of God to Ekron, and it came to pass as the ark of God came to Ekron, that the Akronites cried out saying, They have brought about the ark of the God of Israel to verses, to slay verses, and our people. So they sent and gathered together all the lords of the Philistines, and said, Send away the ark of the God of Israel, and let it go again to his own place, that it slay verses not. And our people, for there was a deadly destruction throughout all the city, the hand of God was very holy there. And the men that died not were smitten with the emirates, and the cry of the city went VP to Hewin. Chapter 6 And the ark of the Lord was in the country of the Philistines, Suin Mones. And the Philistines called for the priests and the duaners, saying, What shall we do to the ark of the Lord? Tell verses wherewith we shall send it to his place. And they said, If ye send away the ark of the God of Israel, send it not empty, but in any wise return him a trespass offering, then ye shall be healed, and it shall be known to you why his hand is not removed from you. Then said they, What shall be the trespass offering, which we shall return to him? They answered, Five golden emeralds and five golden mice, according to the number of the lords of the Philistines, for one plague was on you all, and on your lords. Wherefore ye shall make images of your emeralds, and images of your mice, that mar the land, and ye shall jaya glory even to the God of Israel, for adventure he will lighten his hand from off you, and from off your gods, and from off your land. Wherefore then do ye harden your hearts, as the Egyptians and Pharaoh hardened their hearts, when he had wrought wonderfully among them? Did they not let the people go, and they departed? Now therefore make a new cart, and take to milch keen, on which there hath come no yoke, and tie the keen to the cart, and bring the calus home from them, and take the ark of the Lord, and lay it on the cart, and put the ewels of gold, which he returned him for a trespass offering, in a coffer by the side thereof, and send it away, that it may go. And see, if it go Phoebe by the way of his own coast to Beshemesh, then he hath done verses this great ewel, but if not, then we shall know that it is not his hand that smote verses. It was a chance that happened to verses. And the men did so, and took two milchkeen, and tied them to the cart, and should VP their calus at home. And they laid the ark of the Lord upon the cart, and the coffer, with the mice of gold, and the images of their emeralds. And the king took the straight way to the way of Bethshemesh, and went along the highway, lowing as they went. And turn not aside to the right hand, or to the left, and the lords of the Philistines went after them, then till the border of Bethshemesh. And they of Bethshemesh were reaping their wheat harvest in the valley, and they lifted VP their eyes, and saw the ark, and rejoiced to see it. And the cart came into the field of Ashua a Beshemite, and stood there where there was a great stone, and they clawed the wood of the cart, and offered the keen, a burnt offering vento the Lord. And the Lewits took down the ark of the Lord, and the coffer that was with it, wherein the ewels of gold were, and put them on the great stone, and the men of Beshemesh offered burnt offerings, 
and sacrifice sacrifices the same day then told the Lord. And when the fire lords of the Philistines had seen it, they returned to Akron the same day. And these are the golden emeralds which the Philistines returned for a trespass offering then told the Lord, for Asht one, for Gaza one, for Askelon one, for Gath one, for Akron one and the golden mice according to the number of all the cities of the Philistines belonging to the fire lords, both the fenced cities and of country villages, you invented the great stone of Abel, whereon they set down the ark of the Lord, which stone remain of Vento this day in the field of Ashua, the Beshemite. And he smote the men of Beshemesh, because they had looked into the ark of the Lord. You and he smote of the people fifty thousand, and threescore and ten men, and the people lamented, because the Lord had smitten many of the people with a great slaughter. And the men of Beshemesh said, Who is able to stand before this holy Lord God? And to whom shall he go VP from verses? And they sent messengers to the inhabitants of Kiriath Aram, saying, the Philistines howl brought again the ark of the Lord, come ye down, and fetch it VP to you. Chapter 7 And the men of kiriath Aram came, and fetched VP the ark of the Lord, and brought it into the house of Abinadab in the hill, and sanctified Eleazar his son, to keep the ark of the Lord. And it came to pass a while the ark abode in kiriath Aram, that the time was long, for it was twenty years and all the house of Israel lamented after the Lord. And Samuel spake then to all the house of Israel, saying, If ye do return then to the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods, and Ashtaroth from among you, and prepare your hearts then to the Lord, and Sarah him only, and he will delure you out of the hand of the Philistines. Then the children of Israel did put away Balin and Ashtaroth, and Siru the Lord onely. And Samuel said, Gather all Israel to my spare, and I will pray for you, Fento the Lord. And they gathered together to my spare, and drew water, and parted out before the Lord, and fasted on that day, and said there, We how sinned against the Lord. And Samuel judged the children of Israel in my spare. And when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together to Mizpah, the lords of the Philistines went VP against Israel, and when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. And the children of Israel said to Samuel, He's not to cry and told the Lord our God for verses, that he will saw verses out of the hand of the Philistines. And Samuel took a sucking lamb and offered it for a burnt offering holy even the Lord. And Samuel cried even the Lord for Israel, and the Lord heard him. And as Samuel was offering VP the burnt offering, the Philistines drew near to battle against Israel. But the Lord thundered with a great thunder on that day upon the Philistines, and discomfited them. And they were smitten before Israel. And the men of Israel went out of Mizpah, and pursued the Philistines, and smote them, until they came vendor Bethkar. Then Samuel took a stone, and set it between Mizpah and Shen, and called the name of it Ebenezer, saying, Hitherto hath the Lord helped Versus. So the Philistines were subdued, and they came no more into the coast of Israel, and the hand of the Lord was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel. And the cities which the Philistines had taken from Israel were restored to Israel from Ekron U and Ventogath. And the coasts thereof did Israel delure out of the hands of the Philistines. And there was peace between Israel and the Amorites. And Samuel judged Israel all the days of his life. And he went from year to year in circuit to Bethel and Gilgal and Mizpeh and Yechizrael in all those places. And his return was to Ramah, for there was his house, and there he Yechizrael, and there he built an altar unto the Lord.